What's the oldest profession in the world? Prostitution, okay? The future is all about these very advanced sex robots, you know, with interchangeable cocks, you know, and interchangeable vaginas, you know? So the good thing is you, you won't need to deal with these dirty, drug-addicted prostitutes anymore that are, that are carrying all these diseases. Nah. He's Phoebe Hale, he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so the man is... G'day beer lovers, there you roll mate again here, VB Ed. G'day beer lovers. Have you guys noticed that computer technology is just getting more and more advanced all the time? Look at the technology that's on our phone. Siri. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 10.13am. Good morning. Yeah, thanks sweetie. Oh, Windows 10, you've got that inbuilt helper called Cortana who talks to you. So, computers are starting to talk to us. They're starting to have their own personality. And they reckon that, say in another hundred years, computers are going to be so advanced that the intelligence within these computers are going to think they're fucking real. In computer games, there'll be these characters backed up by all this computer technology that will give them the feeling that they are actually real. Actually real in this virtual world. And some people think that we're already living in a virtual world. And that is, you know, what we think is reality is virtual, okay? There's some really great movies that explore that concept, The Matrix. But I came across one the other day, absolutely brilliant. It's called The 13th Floor. So if you ever get your hands on The 13th Floor, check it out. It's a total mindfuck video, okay? If you like mindfuck videos, I fully recommend the 13th floor. I actually watched it on YouTube. There was some pirate copy there that someone's put up. Yeah. So if you want to watch it for free, watch it on YouTube. Okay. So all this technology that we've got now, all, the, all these advancements in computer technology, the way I see it is all the fucking jobs are going to disappear because automation will just take away our jobs. Okay. Some of the jobs that will go, for sure, are accountants, you know, like me. <laughs> I'll be extinct. Lawyers, school teachers, surgeons. You know, some operations now are done by robots. Yeah, you know, delicate uh, brain surgery, I think, is done by robots. Yeah. Actors, you know, like, you look at those Academy Award winning movies like Avatar, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. There's so many bloody characters on those movies that aren't even fucking real. That they're just created by the computers. <laughs> Actors are gone. Journalists, yeah, no world for journalists anymore. Pilots, you know, when a plane takes off, you know, goes on autopilot for the entire trip. You know, it only probably only, only needs the pilot just to take off and land, but it's going to get to the stage where you won't even need pilots on planes at all. Train drivers, there's nothing stopping that now. Just completely automating the train networks. You don't need drivers. Just have it all run by computers. Uh, all cars in the future are going to be driverless. You know, like taxi drivers, they're all gone. You know, you won't even need a driver's license. You're just going to have this car that's going to come to your house and you tell it where you want to go and it'll just take you there. So all these manufacturers of luxury cars like Ferrari, you know, their whole business model's fucked. You know, you spend half a million dollars on this nice Ferrari and you like to hold the steering wheel and take it for a drive. Well, in the future, there is no drive. There won't be no vehicles that you're going to drive. Yeah, they're all going to be driverless. Yeah. In the West Australian mining industry, yeah, some of the big iron ore miners, they actually use driverless dump trucks. Yeah, they're getting rid of drivers. Look at retailing, 
Okay, you got this fucking organisation called Amazon, where it's they're basically destroying all the shopkeepers. Yeah, all retailing is going online. Yeah, you don't need to go to shops anymore. That's going to wipe out salesmen. You won't need salesmen anymore. That's a that's another profession that's just going to fucking disappear. Okay, all factories are going to be automated. Now that's going to be good and bad for, for people in the West. Now at the moment, all manufacturing goes to China, Asia, you know, where, the, where they've got all these sweatshops, you know, and the cost of labour's cheap, you know, so, so basically the West has lost our factories, it's all gone to China, um, which uses cheap labour. But you, 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 you think of this, in the future, if it's all automated, you take the labour element out of production, you won't need to set up factories in fucking China, okay? You could set those factories up anywhere in the world because the cost of production is going to be the same, okay? So that, in that way, China, Asia, all those countries that have all those switch shops, they're all fucked. They're, they're all going to be massively unemployed. You won't need them anymore. Soldiers, people working in the armed services, well, they're fucking gone. Okay, the, you're already seeing that now. You've got drones. Uh, planes are just so advanced now that in the future, fighter, fighter planes are just going to be totally pilotless. You won't need fucking pilots. It's just, it's going to be technological war. That's the future. Hey, the oldest profession in the world. Gone. What's the oldest profession in the world? Prostitution. Okay. The future is all about these very advanced sex robots, you know, with interchangeable cocks, you know, and interchangeable vaginas, you know. So the good thing is you, you won't need to deal with these dirty, drug-addicted prostitutes anymore that are, that are carrying all these diseases. Nah. No more smelly farts during sex. It yeah, sounds fucking good, doesn't it? Yeah. And the good thing is, you're not really, say if you're married, or you've got a partner, and you go and have sex with a sex robot, you know, you're not really being unfaithful, are you? Because it's not a real person, okay, it's just a, a machine. It'd be to like a form of masturbation. <laughs> yeah, and these fucking sex robots are going to be so lifelike, you know, you... You won't even, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between a real person and these sex robots. And these sex robots are going to be the most perfect sex partner you can have. Yeah, they're going to be beautiful. <laughs> I think politicians are going to be safe. You know, we're always going to need politicians. You can't, you know, you can't have a bunch of fucking robots running countries, can you? M make them laws. So I think you know, you're always going to have that human element there. Okay. Perhaps sporting teams, yeah, they're all going to be robots. But the competition's going to be all about who can create the best robotic team each season. Yeah, and the best software that can run those teams, yeah. Okay, so the big question is, well, what the fuck are we going to do? Okay, we're all living longer. You know, advances in medical technology means we're all going to live longer lives. But there's no fucking work. <laughs> How are we going to forward all these things coming out of these factories created by the robots? You know, all these gadgets. You know, you're going to need fucking money to buy all that. But where are we going to get the money from? I don't think they've thought this thing out. Okay? Now, I read an article in, the, in a magazine the other day talking about, well, the future. What's going to be left for us? What sort of jobs are going to be left for us to do, right? There's only about two, right? One of them is wiping people's asses in nursing homes, okay? And the second is toiling with the soil and growing food. <laughs> 